Oh, that's real nice. Welcome to Achievement Cleanup Detail, where I'm on my final stretch to 1 million gamer score, and I want to go back and clean up my gamer tag. Now, I've crossed over the hardest roadblock in achievement hunting, which is you don't always have to 100% every single game, but there's quite a lot of games that still haunt me in the back of my mind, because like, I know I can easily finish these. It's going to be more fun and rewarding going back to these older games. I dropped for whatever reason, or just leaving a couple achievements that were annoying at the time. Now I won't be exclusively playing these games, cleaning up my gamer tech, because I still want to go through my backlog. A couple things to note, since these are older games, there might be server closures or broken achievements, so I'm going to complete these games to the best of my gaming ability, or most a game will allow me to do. Some games may be just finishing DLC and never got around to, I got some in mind for that. I uh, hope you follow me along for the ride, and then let's jump into the first game. Now, if you watched my previous videos on my Gamer Score Milestones, this one has made multiple appearances, and it wasn't pretty. I was hit with a pretty serious glitch where either the Ice Island for the Penguins or Pirate Ships wouldn't spawn. These are Both of those are needed for a side quest, and that was one achievement that was borked, so I just stopped. And I didn't bother getting the other achievements I needed. I tried multiple times and nothing, so I gave up. I left it alone. For a while, I didn't try it again until over a year later, but this time on a Series X. I started it up, saw everything was spawning correctly, so I did it in one sitting. All I had to do was play the majority of the game, finish all the side quests, get every character up to max level, which is 10, thankfully. So it didn't really take that long. I just put on some YouTube on the, in the background and grinded it out. It's Baby's first RPG, it's a kid's game. It's pretty enjoyable if you like the Adventure Time uh, franchise. It was Games with Gold at some point, that's how I got it. So you might have this one. It's easy gamer score, can easily finish in a day. 986 days from Achievement 1 to the last one. Madden games, I usually just play the 10 hour EA access trial or wait until the game goes into the vault and I play it for a while, end up quitting after I get the most not annoying achievements. For me, it's only a really fun game for a little bit and then I just get bored. With Madden 20, I didn't really know why I didn't finish it earlier because for the past few years Madden has gotten pretty easy achievement list wise, just like back in the early years of the 360, the sports games were pretty much really easy. The only hard achievement I found in Madden 20 was Perfect Passer. You had to get gold in every combine drill in the story mode. This was annoying it sometimes because the AI would run a different way or you got the timing wrong and try again. Super duper frustrating. The rest were to do random tasks in franchise or win battles on defense. I actually did a bonus game, which was Madden 17. I didn't even plan to do it, but one night I was looking at the achievement list and I thought, hey, I can do some of these. I actually had a, thankfully I still had a sealed copy of it. So I cracked it open, went to work. Unfortunately, this is a game where the online features were partially disabled. So I'm missing two achievements and they're kind of annoying because I could have done that earlier when I actually played Madden 17 when it was new. These are two super easy achievements for Madden Ultimate Team. I'm kicking myself for not doing it back then in 2018. But this was worth it because the GS I would just be leaving behind. There was only two achievements that posed a problem. And that was when uh, Draft Champion uh, Undefeated, which was three games with the... You're given random players and you make up a team. So thankfully, I got some good uh, players in mind when I tried it. The other was complete 25 levels in the skill turn of Gauntlet. The Gauntlet was harder of the two, but only took a few tries. And you can cheese it via a method with messing with the sliders for the team you want to go against. But with that, you have to pick a team that you, that you know is bad and you flick their sliders, but you have to keep... Going in and out of trainer skill mode to get that 
uh, team to go against you. Pretty annoying, but 955 gamer score for Madden 17 isn't bad. And 927 days for the completion for Madden 20. If you think that's a long time, just wait for the next game. While playing this game again was a trip, it's kind of crazy we actually thought this looked good. Now I am playing it on a 4K TV and all that, but with all the jaggies and the frame rate, it was terrible. Actually, I didn't have to even touch the single player. It was just the co-op maps, which was really strange because I did do one back in 2013, but I left the last five. Now, barely anyone is playing this, so my only option was to seek someone out to help do it or do it by yourself in the split screen. I actually screwed up and did it one level split screen an online, an offline co-op with a guest account. I spent like two hours trying to do it, finished the mission and finished it, but no achievement. Turns out you need to do it with online with two accounts or offline split screen with two accounts. So that's what I did. Again, with this mission, it was super annoying and long having to play two characters by yourself, do, doing most of the work with one, then getting to a spot where there's barely any enemies, then. Hopefully you can rush with the other guy to get up, uh, to keep up with them. Trying to keep both of them alive while doing objectives and killing foes is kind of annoying. Like sometimes you have to blow up a bridge with bombs or do some like co-op minigames. Thankfully you don't really have to do much with those. It became clear to me this, that this was not going to happen if I was doing it myself. So we're searching for co-op buddies to do it with. Thankfully I found one. What a relief that was. We knocked it out and all, all in one went. It was so easy compared to doing it by, by yourself. It went super fast when you have two people. Now, if you have four, it's probably even better, but I only found one guy to do it. I do not recommend doing it by yourself. I actually wanted to clear the Xbox 360 version before I went to play Far Cry 3 Classic because I want to play th Far Cry 3 again. A whopping 3,049 days between the first and last achievement. It was worth it because I gained 1,130 gamer score that was just sitting there. For this series, I am aiming for at least three games per episode. The next one will feature some real long ones. Hope you enjoyed this first installment of Achievement Cleanup Detail, and I hope to see you in the next one.